Summary of Hippolytus by Euripides The play starts when the goddess Aphrodite comes and says that she is angry. She says that Hippolytus, the scumbag son of Theseus, has given himself over too much to being a virgin and to the goddess Artemis, and he arrogantly refuses to believe in the power of sexuality and desire. So, Aphrodite says, she has made Phaedra, Theseus' wife and Hippolytus' stepmother, fall deeply in love with Hippolytus, which starts the sad chain of events. As if to back up Aphrodite's opinion of Hippolytus's character, a worker sees Hippolytus paying respect to a statue of Artemis and tells him to do the same for Aphrodite. Hippolytus insults both the helper and Aphrodite with his words. After Hippolytus leaves, there is commotion in the palace because Phaedra is sick. She won't eat, is close to dying, and won't say what's wrong with her. Her nurse tells her to tell the truth, and Phaedra finally admits that she has been sick with sexual desire for Hippolytus, which she thinks of as a terrible disease. The nurse is shocked and disgusted, but she tells Phaedra to stay cool while she goes into the palace to make a special potion that will make Phaedra forget what she wants. Even though Phaedra's biggest fear was that the truth about her terrible desire would get out and ruin her image, the nurse finds Hippolytus and, after making him swear to keep quiet, offers him the chance to be with Phaedra sexually. Hippolytus cruelly denounces Phaedra's wish. Phaedra stands by the door of the house and listens to what Hippolytus says to the nurse. She decides that her case is lost and plans to kill herself, but not before making plans to protect her image. Before she leaves the palace to kill herself, she swears an oath of silence to the group of Troizanian women so that they don't talk about what they know. Soon after that, while the chorus is still outside the house, they hear yelling. Phaedra has hung herself, and no one can help her before she dies. At that moment, Theseus comes back from an oracle wearing a crown of flowers, which, unfortunately, means a good answer. He is sad to find Phaedra dead, but he cries even more when he finds a wax tablet in her hand with a note written in her own hand that charges Hippolytus of raping her. In his anger, Theseus calls down on Hippolytus one of the three deadly curses that his mythical father Poseidon gave to him. When Hippolytus comes in to answer Theseus' call, he tries to explain himself by saying that he would never do something like that, but Phaedra's dead body and the note have proven Theseus too much. If the death spell doesn't work, he sends Hippolytus away from Troizen and Athens. After a short time, a messenger comes in. The messenger says that he went with a big group of friends to take Hippolytus to the border of the country so that he could start his journey. Just as Hippolytus got into his chariot to leave along the shore, an earthquake shook the ground. A huge wave came up, and then a bull ran out of the wave and chased Hippolytus. Hippolytus tried to get away as best he could, but the bull caused the chariot to crash into a cliff and flip. Hippolytus was pulled along the ground by the leads, which were twisted around him. When his friends finally found him, he was very sick and close to dying. When Theseus hears the story, he is a little quiet, but mostly happy that Hippolytus got what he deserved. Artemis comes out of nowhere, high above the stage. She tells Theseus the whole truth right away and he can hardly take it when she tells him that he believed the false charge against Hippolytus, didn't want to wait for a fair hearing, and called down the fatal curse that can't be undone. He says that the pain is because of an old crime that one of his relatives didn't pay for. At last, Hippolytus's friends bring him on stage and set him down in front of Theseus. Both are in a lot of pain and sad about the other. Artemis makes sure they have a moment to make up and forgive each other. Then she says she will get her own revenge on Aphrodite and start a cult where young girls will always remember Hippolytus. About the author There isn't much reliable information about Euripides' life, and it's hard to separate the facts from the tales. As a child on the island of Salamis, he probably played sports and studied art and philosophy with Anaxagoras and Proclus, two well-known people. He is said to have been unfaithful in both of his failed marriages. After he moved to Athens, several of his tragedies, of which only a few are still around, while many others are only pieces or have been lost, won the top prize at a yearly play contest. He is also said to have lived alone in a cave on the shore of Salamis and written his plays there, even after he became famous. In Macedonia, he died. 
Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.